Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here at the Fletcher Free Library in Burlington, and this is the interactive cave room. And you can choose to draw along this whole wall. This is a Smithsonian traveling exhibit exploring human origins. What does it mean to be human? And we're tagging along with a group of second graders from Edmonds Elementary School. How are we humans? It's traveling from 19 different cities around the country. It originates out of the National Museum of Natural History. One of the components that we knew when we would include had to do with school tours and educating youth in the community. What do you guys think makes us human? Legs. Having legs? But all animals have legs, don't they? Yeah. 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 I think what makes us human is we don't have like fur. We can talk. We can talk. We talk in a certain language. It means like to be a good person. The explorations of our connectivity are really important, especially in this day and age. They're exploring science and history and factual information. We think it'll be really cool that your drawings are right next to all of these ancient looking handprints. So today we had elementary school students in the space. We read them a story, we talk to them about things that they may have observed in the exhibit or questions that they maybe came into the exhibit with. It's a woolly mammoth! But look, the tail, the tusks. Do you know what tusks are? Yeah. What are the tusks? That so we wanted to really engage kiddos and have them kind of explore and as much as possible experience the ambiance of the cave and what it might be like to like leave a mark themselves. It makes me feel like if I was an artist. A boy made the first painting out of a stick in the fire, like charcoal. And so they're using what to light the cave wall, do you think? Fire. They're using fire. The exhibit has a number of different themes that the Smithsonian would like to get across. One is just that there are advances in our understanding of human origins on a yearly basis almost. And getting that information out across the United States is something that the Smithsonian is hoping to do through this exhibit. Also to look back on ourselves, that we are the single living species out of many that came before us and what made us successful. What makes you human? Do you see the shadows? So those shadows represent footprints. So we have a great feature that most animals don't. We can walk upright. Walking makes us human because we can see each other and don't just... Like a frog. Yeah, like a frog. Yeah, that's not human. Does anyone know how chimpanzees do they walk just like us, or maybe a little bit more like this? Yes! Yeah, right? The Smithsonian's really about engaging people in conversation. You know, there's panels down there for people to read, but they want people to, to read them and, and talk them over with others. And that's one of the reasons that we're trying to bring in a lot of the school groups, is to get those conversations started. And that way, the younger kids can go home and talk to their parents about it. Maybe their parents will come in and read a little bit more about it. These two both show very prominent brow ridges. If you want to feel your own face right here, we had about 186 people come for the uh, opening. They loved it. Science is one of those things that you're not sure how many people are going to be really engaged with that, but because I think it's about us, there's a real buzz about it. The complexities of evolution, like how physical parts of ourselves have like modernized and adapted, including skulls. There's a panel downstairs that talks about how 60% of our DNA is related to banana trees and kids have been like, oh, I don't get it. And I'm like, I know, it's amazing. So this is Lucy. Do you guys know about Lucy? She is not part of our genus of Homo. She is an Australopithecine. Australopithecines came before us. Now, if you'll notice, what are certain features on her that we don't have? One thing that she had was very long, small fingers. A modern ape will reach into a log or a crevice and pull out a bug or an insect. Like, she could do that. Her hands were small and thin. Notice her arms are very long, much more like an ape than a human. She has very high shoulder pads. Like, if you can feel your own, like, it would be like this rather than 
like this. She has a pelvis that is more human-like than chimpanzee. This is how we were able to tell that this long ago, she was able to walk upright and do so comfortably. What makes us human? Making your own food and paying for a house. Tools makes us more humans because we get to um, build houses to live and love each other. I think much of what makes us human is emotional awareness, intentional thought. So having a sense of kindness towards others, to be able to cooperate with one another. Having eyebrows, lips, having bones, walk on two legs and be alive. To be playful. Having mustaches. <laughs> to be yourself. Be nice. Crying. To live. To be a nice person. It means to like act and live. To be alive. Don't die. Also, it's really like kind of the root of the explorations of community, right? And so that's part of wanting them to leave this mark in the cave too, is to know that they have value and their story like needs to be heard. I draw the giant, I don't remember his name in Odysseus, because it's from the Odyssey, and his dad was the god of the ocean. The importance of art too, and how that has acted as this historical and kind of everlasting piece of how we communicate who we are as individuals. Because they want to learn about each other. We need to communicate, communicate and love. Now if you guys want, you can write down what you guys think it means to be human. Oh, 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 that's how it tends to go these days. Oh, oh, oh. Human means being able to express yourself creatively. You can experience this exhibit here at the Fletcher Free Library through March 17th, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. Oh, Maya, is that your name? Yeah. You, I know that me, 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 me,